Hello, my name is Xavier Foley and I am going to show you how to tell if your pops rosin is bad pops. In the beginning of this video, I played an excerpt of a Brahms symphony to show you the comparison between a bow with bad pops rosin and a bow with good pops rosin. So the bow with bad pops rosin looks something like this. As you can see here, there's a lot of black specks on it. If you're someone who experiences this issue with your bow, uh, where it looks like it's getting dirty and you can see little black spots in the middle, then you may have a problem with your pop's rosin. So I'm going to show you a trick to finding out if the pop's rosin you use is rotten or fresh. So here we have a standard cake of uh, Pops Rosin. Now to see if the Pops Rosin is bad, I'm going to do a little test. So the first part of this test is to open it up, get it out. And then the, the second part is to let it sit on its side. Now after an hour or two or so, if the rosin is melting and uh, you see it going this way, right? It's bad rosin. This rosin has always been in its same place, meaning it hasn't melted this direction, it hasn't melted that direction. It's always in the same place. It has always retained its position. If you have your rosin in a base case, right, chances are it's going to be on its side. If it's bad rosin and you open it up um, and it's melted everywhere, and on the top of this thing, it's bad rosin. But as you can see, this has always retained the same position throughout its whole lifespan so far. So this is how you can tell if your pops rosin is fresh or not. This is an example of fresh rosin. Also, one more thing to tell. When you pull the paper off, you should hear a noise, a little crackle that sounds like this. Hear that crack? Do another one. Um, let's see. Hear that crackle? That's how you really know if it's good rosin. If you hear a little crack, that means it's fresh. Yep, there you have it, folks. This is how you tell if your pops rosin is fresh or rotten. Oh, by the way, the person that taught me how to do this test uh, goes by the name of Mike Shank. He has a double base shop in Elizabethtown, PA, an hour and 30 minutes drive from Philly. And he taught me how to do this. So thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.